Good morning students and welcome back to Alchemy Online Classes. Students, in our previous class, we have learned about the constitution of India. We have learned that a committee was set up to frame the constitution of India and Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar was his chairperson. This committee took two years, 11 months time to frame the constitution. And after two years, 11 months, the constitution came into effect on 26 January 1950. Now student, think about it. What will happen if we do not have any rules, constitution or laws? The set of rules help us to understand our rights and duties. If we don't have a set of rules or laws, we will not be able to understand our rights and duties. Because of this, if we don't know our rights and duties, we may harm others and ourselves also. Because India is a country of many religious, many castes and creeds. Here, all castes are living together with the peace and love. So to maintain this peace, Indian has to follow the constitution. Because our constitution teaches us which rights we are having and what are our duties. If we will follow these all duties and rights and we will live with these all duties and policies so we can live a peaceful life. That is why set of rules, regulation and constitution is important in an individual's life. Students, we have discussed this much on the word constitution. But do you know from where the word constitution came from? The word constitution is derived from a Latin word constitutio, which is used for regulation and orders. Constitution consists of the basic principle and laws of a nation, state or social groups that determine the powers and duties of the government and guarantee certain right to its people. So the constitution is made up of principle, social duties, rights of the government and the people of the government. Everyone has to follow this principle and everyone will get their rights and the same way they have to follow their duties also. So the, our constitution gives us knowledge of our rights, duties and our principles. Framing of the constitution was not that much easy. They have to discuss and research every aspect according to the nation, according to the state and according to the local bodies. They have to think about every aspect and their rights and their duties, which rights everyone is having and which duties they have to do. Everything they have to think about it, they have done the discussions, they have done the researches and they were trying their level best to give equal opportunity, equal rights, equal duties for everyone. That is why it took two year, 11 month time to frame our constitution. And after two year, 11 month time, the constitution came into effect on 26 January 1950. This day, therefore, is celebrated every year as our Republic Day because on this day our country become a Republic country. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar is known as the father of the Indian Constitution. For his contribution towards framing the Constitution of India because he was the chairperson of that committee and he has done really hard work to frame the constitution of India. 
Now student, we will read I get to know session on page number 15 from our course book. Jawaharlal Nehru was a member of the drafting committee. The, he became the first Prime Minister of India on 15 August 1947 and remained in office till 27th May 1964. So, according to I get to know section, Jawaharlal Nehru was also a member of drafting committee of which framing the constitution of India. But in 15 August 1947 means after our independence he became the Prime Minister of India and he remained in his office till 27 May 1964. Because of this he is not counted as a part of that committee. And Dr. Bhimra Ambedkar, who was the chairperson of this committee, was known as the father of the Indian constitution. So student, today we learn about what happened if we don't have set of rules and laws. So we learn that if we don't have set of rules, laws and constitution, Maybe we don't know the, our rights and duties and will harm our nation, our neighborhood, our society and ourselves also. We also learn that the, the word constitution came from Latin word constitutio. The meaning of constitutio is rules and order. We have also learned that constitution consists of the basic principles and laws of a nation, state or social groups that determine the powers and duties of the government guaranteed certain rights to its people. And we also learned that the framing of constitution was took long time because of the researches and discussion on the constitution and after long researches and discussion the Indian constitution came into force effect on 26 January 1950. That is why every year on 26 January we are celebrating our Republic Day. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar is known as the father of the Indian Constitution because he was the chairperson of that drafting committee. We also learned that earlier Jawaharlal Nehru was also the part of this drafting committee. But he be after independent he became the Prime Minister of India and he was remain in his office till 21st May 1964. So, he was not counted as a part of this drafting committee. Earlier he was the member, but when to have the constitution come into, came into effect, at that time he was not the part of that drafting committee. So, we learn that what happened if we don't have set of rules, how the word constitution came, and what is constitution and the father of constitution. In our next class, we will discuss more on it.